That's a great shop to have. Everything I own needs troubleshooting. <laughs> so, uh, turns out the power cord was not plugged in all the way in the back of this. Back of this guy. So I don't use this one too often. So let's just check it out here. See what we've got. Frequency. Resolution. 1 megahertz. 1 hertz. 100 hertz. What? Okay, so that's just how, how many uh, decimal points you want. Attenuator. Let's put the attenuator on. Filter. Uh, I'm not sure what we're filtering there. A reset button in case you're counting instead of... Okay, let's, let's give her a go here. Um, this, thing, this thing supposedly counts up to 80 megahertz. Oh, I didn't notice that before. Also didn't notice I'm kind of yelling into the the microphone. Okay, so I turned off the transmitter. The sounds of me connecting the frequency counter. Now, what are the chances I'm going to blow up my frequency counter because I basically hook the output of a ham radio right into the input? I think the chances are low. That is going to cause a problem. As as get it connected here. Okay. Or I wouldn't do this. As long as the attenuator's on. We're on the 14 megahertz band. There should be nothing coming out anyway, according to the scope. So the scope is still connected here. There we go. Tune. You saw a little number jump there. Now, we'll quickly switch to 21 and back. 21. Well, it's not enough of a signal for the counter to even go. Thirty-two. Yeah, I'm sitting here in silence because that's not the number I expected at all. Thirty-two megahertz. Come off it. Tune the radio. There's no way this is thirty-two megahertz here. Now my plan of action is completely flubbed. Stupid going on here. There probably is something stupid going on here, but I'm too dumb to figure it out. Okay, off with the hum, so you don't have to hear the hum. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so the frequency counting thing did not work for me at all. This filter was on. Turn the filter off. Maybe that was the problem. Here comes the hum. 32. 32.4 megahertz, this thing says. It is. Look at that. Almost exactly 30. This just keeps getting weirder and weirder. 29.9. What if I tune it? Oh my gosh. This is actually transmitting the proper frequency. I don't get it. So, I don't get it. There's no way this is 29 megahertz on here. Maybe I'm wrong. Because as I tune the radio, you can see the numbers change. I'm just tuning the radio here. We're on the, uh, sorry about the hump, we're on the 28 megahertz band, I got 29, I don't know what to make of this, let's go. Sorry about the hum again. So, what the, now I'm getting, <laughs> now I'm getting 30 with no signal. Okay, this uh, signal counter deal has not worked at all, maybe it's overdriven. Uh, it doesn't look like that's the case at all. Oh my god, I don't know what to make of any of this. Okay. 
Alright, okay, let's back up a step. We'll turn this guy off. Ignore him. Back to just looking at the scope. Why on these three lower bands do I get that? You can't see something there. I get that. Next band up, I get that. What is the difference between here and here? That is the $64,000 question. So, in my exuberance last night, I started thinking that 21 megahertz was part of this group. And then, if you tune to 21, you're triggering this filter, and this filter must be the problem, here or here. But then later I noticed, no, no, 21 has its own filter. Can you, can you hear me thinking? Yeah, so this morning I turned it on to show you, and what do I see? 21 still behaving weird, but these upper ones not so weird. And then a moment later, all four of the upper ones, all five of the upper ones are acting weird. Something hit and miss about these filters. Now here's the problem. Is it hit and miss or is it miss and hit? So am I seeing these ones working? And these ones not? But... But the signal I see coming out looks to me like an IF signal coming out of here. Yet... Somehow the frequency counter was given those high, high numbers, which I really should ignore that frequency stuff, frequency counter stuff. Wow. Uh, well, let's look at this RF output once again, okay? We'll take a look at this. What's coming out of this card? Pin 24. Pin 24. Sorry about the focus here. So we'll take it off tune, first of all. Disconnect the scope from where it was. Put it on pin 24 of board C, which is right here. Board C, pin Tune button off without anything in transmit mode. I'll just flip through this band switch. So, bottom of the band 3.5, 7, 14. Here comes 21. WWV and the others. Hmm. Not, it's not so dramatic a difference. So, now, because the radio, we're looking at the tuning, uh, transmitting circuitry while the radio is in receive mode. And what this circuitry does may be totally just unimportant. So it may be seeing phenomenon here, it just doesn't mean anything. 21. Uh, scope just wasn't triggering on it. Tune the radio. I can't see any variation in that. It'd be stupid. Look at the frequency counter. 31 megahertz. Yeah. So much for that. Um, sorry about the hum you're listening to now. You know what I can do here? I can actually remove the humming microphone from the circuit. You listen to me in one channel. Hey, that's a good idea. I will go... 21 still in receive mode. I'm just flipping back and forth. Back to 21. And I'm wiggling this control, trying to convince myself it's 
not the band switch itself. Doing stuff. But it's very, very consistent. I don't see any funny action here, except for what we're seeing. <laughs> Nothing funny except for what's funny. Okay, so now what are we getting? It's the output of this board on pin 24. 3.5, 7, 14. You know, that all looks like RF going out. And I flip to 21. Hey, oh, hey, 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 what happened there? Well, what happened there? Okay, let's try wiggling the board. Let's try wiggling the C board here. So this is the board right here. Okay. And I'm just going to flex it and watch what happens. Try not to get a shock off the radio here. Flexing away now. Ooh. Hey, look at that. It's all gone. It's gone bye-bye. Completely gone. Okay, there's something going on here with a bad connection or something. This board. Okay, let's uh, let's pull that board out and take a look at it. Okay, our radio is off. Board C, you know what, maybe I'll put the extenders in. And we'll pop this board up high where we can fiddle with it. Now, there is something about this board. Right away, that makes this one a little different than the rest. And one is these little finger spring things here. When you put this in, these are supposed to contact the aluminum aluminum wall. You can see these are all bent and distorted, but I'm pretty sure they do contact it. It's just to ground this right around these particular coils. So when you look at this now, there's all these switching diodes in here. And uh, all those little capacitors down in here, look at them all. Likewise over here, these are the switching diodes. And then there's everything else. In case you don't remember, these are the contacts that actually contact back into the radio. They're, they're pretty big honking things. There's a chip in a uh, in a, a socket. Just looking at the ferrite beads in here to see if there's any really small ones that might because I still have that ferrite bead on a little piece of wire that fell out of the radio that I'm pretty convinced had no business being near this radio. It's from something else. But, uh, so that's a suspicious stuff. This chip and uh, everything else. Oh my gosh. So there could be a cold solder joint in there so easily. I've mucked about with this in the past. Maybe I need to re-solder all these connections, every one of them, practically. Let's put the extender in before I start resorting to uh, thoughtless approaches here. Putting the extender board in. It's the first time I've used it uh, this round. Okay, in you go. Okay, I will put this board up on top. Oh, somehow you might imagine that all the uh, 
the extension board would introduce problems of some sort. Like, uh, allow for interference. Uh, which way did I do this last time? It actually shouldn't really make any difference which way I put these in. But I certainly had a hard time last time. Of course, the radio is switched off while I'm doing this. Well, that, those, those, uh, that metal, uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> These metal springs aren't contacting anything anymore. I'm just looking for shorts in the back here. No, it's all high and clear. Looks good to me. Okay, lots of stuff to poke around now. That's for sure. Let's, uh, let's, let's turn her back on. I'll let you watch the scope this way. Um, so we're on the output of this board. We're on pin 24, which is this pin down here. Just connected from behind. see a little bit of a signal appearing there. Still working on just one channel of audio by the way. So uh, let's see if, it, we'll see if it's working the same way first of all. Is it doing the same stuff or is this introduced some new weirdness? Those are the three lower bands. There's 21 megahertz, the WWV setting, and now the rest of them. No, they seem to be working the same. It's interesting as I switch I get a little peek at that kind of signal. So it looks like right at the moment there's only something wrong with the 21 band. So don't use that band Jim. Okay. I still don't know for sure what that frequency is. Oh my gosh it's gone. No 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 it's a triggering issue. Triggering, 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 triggering. Maybe I'm being fooled all the time by triggering. Let's see if I am. Yeah, maybe that's all it is. You know what? The signal was dropping enough. My scope stopped tr triggering, and then I think I'm looking at a, a different frequency. When in fact, yeah, so that's the top band now. That's all it was, just the way I have the scope set. So those are all the upper bands. Oh, for crying out loud. Now the lower ones. The radio's not in uh, any kind of transmit mode, it's in receive mode. Cool, look at this. That's me wiggling, I'll show you what I'm doing to make that happen. I'm wiggling this switch here. Oh, wrong, wrong camera, I'm showing you the wrong camera. Look at that. Some huge inconsistency with this switch. What the? What was that? Yes, I'm taking a guess that when we flip from 21 to 14, we see that fade out and then blip. I think that's a capacitor discharging, and then when it gets low enough, the uh, a diode stops conducting. I got no idea at all. I got no, I got no clue here. Give the switch another cleaning. I don't think it's a switch problem. When I was fiddling with the switch and getting different things on, on there, I was pushing the switch quite a distance. Oh, for crying out loud. Now what? <laughs> okay, nobody touch anything. 
that looks like IF frequency coming out of the output of the transmitter IF. Where'd it go? It just went away. Holy smokes, man. Let's wiggle this board and see what's up. Nothing's up. So we're down on 3.5 megahertz and seven, 14, 21. Uh, I wonder if there's anywhere I can get a shock off this guy here. This is growing. for a little bit and come up with a plan of what to try next. IC301. I think I'll take a peek at IC301. Let's take a peek at what IC301 does. Mouse interference here. So there's IC301. Takes the IF signal, does something with it. Let's see that WWV. What's that TX there? Any any 11 volts on any one of these three, CW or tune. I can't just think this up. I have to read up on what this does exactly. It's output. I'm pretty sure it's just an IF frequency coming out into here. And there's something in this radio called a premix signal. I, I don't know what that is exactly. I really have to figure that out to really understand exactly how this is operating. But once these have become mixed here, it's all RF from then on. And uh, kind of my Depends on that as you go right to the output, it says right there, RF output. And where does it go? It goes right into the RF driver and onto the power amp. Seems to me in the past I've spent time uh, looking at these two transistors um, and it will just be a confused affair anyway, even years ago when I was doing this. But I've been here before. Well, maybe the thing to do is just redo all the soldering under here. Um, you know, all these little capacitors, you could have trouble. Um, oh, there's tons of them. Tons of them in the board there, they are. Okay, I think that's what I got to do. I don't know what else to do at the moment. Uh, get out my soldering iron and get soldering on all these things and see if that makes some kind of difference. But what I am concluding is that the IF frequency is somehow sneaking through this card and coming out the output. Since the IF is uh, 3.9 megahertz, it is right in that can be amplified and shot out the antenna. If I put this on high, there's a chance I will transmit 100 watts at this frequency. And I certainly don't want that to happen right now. I don't even have it on tune. I don't even have it on tune. Jim, you don't even have it on tune. Okay. Let's put it on tune. Ah, it's complete. 
completely broken now. I just in receive mode. Just weird stuff comes out of this radio all the time, by the way, when you're using it, like that. <laughs> Which I imagine are signals... I turned down the volume. Signals coming in the antenna. And they're... Uh, uh, um, it's as if somebody's tuning their transmitter up the band, and as they pass the receive frequency of this radio, you hear that whoosh sound. But I suspect it's something inside the radio, in fact, that does that. But this radio always makes those sounds. Yeah, I think it's a big solder job. Resolder everything. What if I pop that uh, chip out? Pop it back in. I don't see how that. that, that that's too early in the. Uh, it's too early here in the circuit. I'm much more inclined to think. Well, you know, okay. So how could how could the IF? Well, if this is a mixer, then all kinds of stuff is coming out of here. And these filters are intended to uh, do something about that, that's for sure. And I don't know how they're really constructed, but you know, maybe there's a, a low pass and a high pass, and they're arranged so that there's a pass band in the middle. And the pass band is the desired frequency, and therefore everything else is knocked out to some degree here, to a, a more here. Okay, I'm just sitting there thinking too much. I, I, I gotta stop the video because uh, cause I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Okay. I'll another microphone. Before I forget, I'll turn on my uh, other microphone here. Turn off button to work right. Hello. There we go. See, everything needs work. Me too, I need work. 